finally we have Sea Droid 8.9 Android 12.1 and really thanks to Shaheen Sharkar for building this one and really thanks to other developers who actually contributed to the sources. So let's get started with the settings and what's new and I will talk about every single details about this ROM should you update or not. So here is the about section and Sea Droid version and Android version 12.1 of course and here is the details of an Sea Droid me maintainer that means the maintainer Jax project and Android security update September 5 which is the latest one and kernel you can see here and the other things like we have system so you guys already know about the systems and like uh, lineage os we have the system profiles here you guys can select according to your choice default automobile and silent and if you want to create new you can do that and of course we have other things like device settings if you want a great and improved sound quality then of course enable mi sound enhancer and we have other things like fps overlay and display color calibration and ambient display as well then we have the important things like thermal profiles you guys can set thermal profiles in individual applications then we have CR Droid settings now let's talk about that CR Droid always known as best customization custom room always so we have here the best customizations all necessary customizations and actually there are really really more so let's check here is the status bar icons which you need just enable and we have cloak style date and cloak you guys can customize and network NDP uh, traffic monitor or traffic indicator whatever you say we can it can customize it then we have the data disabled icons if you don't need that data disabled icons just uh, near the signal icons so if you don't need just turn that off and you guys will get only the network indicators so roaming indicator combine signal icons if you want to combine signal icons then of course enable that one i don't need that and colored icons and show notification count if you want the notification count then enable this one and display the number of pending notifications so pending notifications will be counted and battery style can be selected here are some uh, examples and battery percentage and battery bar customizations if you want to customize the battery bar then you guys can do that you will according to your choice here uh, like um, different colors and ports are available you guys can select any and brightness control double tap to sleep and quick pull down and other things then we have the quick settings and clock and clock font size also you guys can increase and decrease the clock font size battery style battery location and battery location can be changed like quick status bar and qs panel and of course we have battery estimates feature and position can be changed background transparency and hide qs on ck lock screen that means if you don't want any notification on your uh, ck lock screen that means qs on control center if you don't need the control center on your lock screen then enable that feature and you're good to go then we have the animation style like flip x y rotate and no animation and animation duration can be set and animation interpolator like this if you just enable anything so that will animate like this so and footers alert display and alert bottom of QS panel and this is the new feature which is data uses i already showed in some videos which is really great and if you need a clear all notification button then enable that settings that's all and now let's go to lock screen uh, like as before we have every single customizations if you don't need that ripple effect that means when you touch your fingerprint and device will unlock and you will get an effect so if you don't need that then you guys can turn that off then we have other things like navigation pixel animation show arrow keys while typing and this is cool and layout can be changed normal compact and left leaning and right leaning so actions navigation bar actions that means long swipe actions and home double tap you guys can select anything turn off screen or in app search whatever use connections are there 
then we have age long swipe and recent long swipe you guys can set according to choice then we have power menu and end calls and weight devices and other things like user interface and charging animations and full screen applications smart pixel and of course we have the monitor engine here you guys can set your custom colors and we have navigation bar styles can be changed if you don't use the navigation field button and of course we have font style use collection are there then we have icon pack signal icon pack and wi-fi icon packs yeah actually i'm using here and then we have the notifications And here is the notifications, reticker and noisy notifications, force stop button if you want to enable that one. And blink flashlight for incoming calls if you need them. And here is the sounds, pause, volume steps and screenshot sounds and other things. Every possible customizations are available. Now we have the important things here, uh, latest game is space and you guys can add games. Here I am using the PUBG mobile and you guys can uh, go to settings and can be it can be changed the performance mode which will be standard and performance and battery which you need you guys can enable and then of course you guys can change the driver like uh, use angle experimental so if you, you try to use that one maybe your graphics will be broken so don't try this right now if you want to then can and sweep to screenshot and swipe screenshot and unlimited google photo storage and high fps gaming of course you guys will get that and i will show you the gameplay and then we have other things like security everything is there everything is available like face unlock fingerprint and smart lock but we don't have the app lock here and display other things and privacy like as before and i just uh, don't want to waste time here everything is available now let's talk about the room and which is usable or not and here is the battery indicator on the top you guys can see and just like a yellow line is on the top and now let's talk about the smoothness of that room and if you have 2gb ram variant then i don't recommend to use that room for now and if you want to use of course you can no problem with that but uh, don't recommend but if you have a 3gb ram variant or higher of course you are really recommended to use that rom and this is really mind blowing right now and working very fine and smoothness is just awesome i didn't get anything any bugs anything here so which is really really cool things and you guys can use a custom icon pack so let's go to settings and go to icons and go to icon pack and i'm using here aura and you guys can download from play store any icon pack and set according to your choice which is really really cool and we just can be selected and i'm using here a basic uh, gaps not uh, any, uh, any gaps not the core one if you use core one then you won't be able to use that clock widgets so that's it so remember that one and if you use that any gaps core then you will get more better performance but that doesn't seem uh, to very much smoother so here we wallpaper is calling wallpaper zooming if you don't need that wallpaper zooming then of course you guys can turn that off and we have the app drawer and we have app drawer feature here icon levels in app drawer and row height and background opacity and recents can be changed and memory info greedy styles and clear all button and other things and miscellaneous is taskbar whatever you need we have every single thing uh, here is the greedy style which is the latest android 12 one and a screenshot can be taken like this from here and we have the other things other information is there so this is it and now let's talk about some important things and which is uh, here is the cpu throttling and which is 82 percent and battery charge was really 50% so you guys can see when charge was 50% that means the battery I checked it and CPU throttle to 82% and battery drain it was very less and I, I was surprised to see that so this is really cool if you check it on uh, your battery if your battery is higher than 90% then you will get more better performance and it, it also depends on the environment and now let's let me show you the Geekbench score and you will get more better Geekbench score if you keep using the ROM for some days and 266 and 1088 single and multi core and which is also great and I played games so which was really cool and now let me show you 
here is the fps info on the bottom you guys can see if you want uh, the game space to use like this lock gesture and notifications fps info and stay awake like this and of course if you want to take a screenshot you guys can uh, do that and then of course if you want to record skin also you guys can do that and if the ram management was really really awesome i found the ram management system was really really great because it can uh, keep the uh, high games like pubg mobile it can uh, save in memory uh, for some times particular times and it was really really good and of course i already rooted the device and safety net is passed by default so let me show you that a safety net is passed by default and you guys can easily use any banking application without any problem now let's talk about the gaming performance and here you guys can see the gaming experience and which is uh, smooth and 90 fps of which is really cool and i didn't get any uh, lag and stutter while playing games and it was smooth really really cool so i recommend you guys to use that room if you want to use in your daily life and no lag and stutter in uh, opening and closing and in the control center and other things if i miss anything then of course let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching